Hey guys, welcome back to the Warhammer Tacticals and in today's video we're going to play the first part of the same hand campaign. Uh, so maybe I will give you a little explanation I have been off for the almost over three weeks because I was in China and uh, even though I was able to play most of the time because it wasn't always, I couldn't upload any gameplay because uh, YouTube like Instagram, Facebook and any social medias which are available in the rest of the world are banned in China. So people cannot gain any information from the other governments instead of the one which gives you the government actually. So um, even though I could play most of the time, I wasn't able to upload any, any material. So the legendary event which I posted is recorded so we can see my progress, how, I, how, many, how, how much points I was able to, to, to gain. I can just show you that I screw a little and I was out of the shards. I could obtain the Shadow Sun but I missed like 10 shards. So I will make it up in the incoming event. I don't think spending money to just unlock the character uh, is that necessary. So I played one mission before we get started. So this is the first the, this is the first mission. I didn't expect that there will be the quotes, but there are quotes. So um, you can see that this is the first mission, the quotes. Uh, I will put it one by one, just to show you. Um, yeah, you can just pause the video and and read. So the Aitana, there is a quote between Aitana and Eldrion. So this is what you can see when you begin play the game. The gameplay. Uh, so they are speaking about the incoming chaos. The Thousand Suns, and there, there we had the first mission, uh, which I, I think, did not record. So you have to forgive me the first mission which I did not record. But anyway, we are here, and so we will. Uh, right now, I will show you all the quotes. As you can see, I didn't play it, so we can play it all together. My elder units are not so powerful, so. I, I think it will be enough for this campaign because it's not elite, but for elite one, for the elite one, I will need uh, a lot of upgrades. Farseers are the most powerful and revered of all the recyclers and can use their vast physical capabilities to read the scales of fate and see the possibilities of the future. Who they give guide the Eldari along a path that ensures their survival by manipulating events throughout the galaxy. So, yeah, I will not read all of this uh, because. I just don't want to read it in one pronunciation, so I will leave the reading for you guys. Okay, so we can use, so this is our best uh, characters, we can deploy anything other because Calandis, Aitan and Eldrion are necessary. So we will use our guys. Uh, as you can see, so we restart the game. Okay, yeah, so I hope you you could hear me for the first for the first minutes. I had to reinstall the game because Arena uh, bugged and I wasn't able to play. Okay, nice. So we have the Guardians, so the primary unit from the Down of War. Okay, let's go here with Aitana. So, um, I think that they slightly were between, they were confused because every new campaign they will put when people has the races unlocked uh, will be very easy and the campaigns for the new players will be tough because we gained all of the uh, elders for the events and new players will be not able to gain these, these characters, but uh, what can you do? 
Although I love a lot Thousand Suns, how, how they look, I think the, the graphic made a great work to, to make this character look like this. Uh, Monkai, the, the Monkai is in Warhammer how the Elders call humans, so may, it's, it sounds like monkey, so maybe this is the point, just so for the people who do not know that. If I um, skip these quotes too fast, uh, forgive me, but you will need to, to pause the video if you want to read it, because I don't want to make it longer than it's necessary. So Eldar are basically the good race, but they help when they have, they when they see, uh, when they have, when can they can gain something, or you know they predict future. So if they have business to make and it's worth for them, they will help, but uh, they are sneaky as well, so they will help only if they see the purpose for it. Okay, so we are getting more enemies. Luckily, the enemies are not tough to play against.
Okay, so the first time we can deploy Morgan Ra, so we'll do it and let's see how his... I think his ability is way too powerful. Yeah. So we strike the boss right now, so let's see. So we do not know the ability of this guy, but I don't think this is important because our character is just too powerful. So we just unlocked the, the new mission and we just collected some shards of the new character, Tov. Okay. So we can claim the rewards and for this time that's it. I will record, I will continue recording. Um, I will continue recording but uh, for, for the first episode this will be for today and tomorrow, the day after tomorrow uh, until the first day I will upload the campaign and I will upload the legendary event walkthrough. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the first 15 missions, hope you will be able to read all of the quotes and see you next time guys, bye.